have an entirely new look inside the large and controversial federal shelter for unaccompanied migrant children in Homestead. With more presidential candidates calling for its closure, a member of President Trump's cabinet is defending the decision to keep it open. CBS 4's Ty Russell is live in Homestead with the story. Ty. Ruta Bay, the Health and Human Services Secretary, says because of more border crossings, facilities like this one in Homestead are needed. Meanwhile, several Democratic presidential candidates have been criticizing the Trump administration, along with the secretary, for keeping these facilities open. But tonight, the secretary is responding to those critics. 2,600 migrant children are being housed in Homestead. And for the first time, CBS News was given access Friday inside the facility. Well, there's been a lot of factual misrepresentations or just ignorant statements made about Homestead and, frankly, the broader program that we run. Health and Human Services Secretary Alex Azar is defending how the facility is operated after Democratic presidential candidates called it a prison. Let's make sure we get these kids back into homes where they really are homes and, and not essentially a uh, uh, well, there's no other way for it, essentially prison facilities. In saying prisons or detention facilities, these are shelters. These are child welfare shelters. Homestead is a child welfare shelter where we're trying to take care of these kids and place them out as quickly as possible. Azar says the facility opened because of an increase in border crossings. Azar also told CBS News these children are unaccompanied when crossing the border. Many are brought here where HHS hired a private contractor for day-to-day -day operations. There are people who are literally profiting off of the incarceration of children. Like, just reflect on that for a moment. Some of the younger ones live in dorms that once was a part of the Department of Labor's Job Corps. And as for the older children. We ask our kids what they prefer, and the kids actually prefer the larger, more bunk bed, dormitory, larger setting that you're, that you're referring they to. They prefer that. That's what, that's, what, that's what they tell us. But now, I'm sure, I'm sure... the attorneys are saying clearly in this file. I'll go with the children. Attorneys who recently visited the facility also believe the children were in a prison-like system. Azar says not true, but admits they do have rules. These are kids. We're running a, we're running a, ch a facility for kids here. You have rules. You have rules in school. For, for a while, several education and recreational programs were put on hold for a lack of funds. That's until Congress and the president gave a thumbs up on an additional $2.8 billion. It's for 160 facilities nationwide and opening smaller permanent ones. And the Democratic presidential candidates who tried to take a tour of the facility today were turned away. Now, the company running the day-to-day -day operation says it welcomes visitors. However, it takes around 14 days to get approval. We are live tonight in Homestead. I'm Ty Russell, CBS 4 News Tonight.